Hi, this is Jason. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm working on a 2012 Chevy Silverado. Um, his blower motor only works on a couple speeds. So this is going to be that fix on how to change your blower motor out. So please boop that like button, subscribe down below, and let's get into this video. So here's my truck. I am on the passenger side. Um, right here, there is a shield. There's a 9.30 seconds uh, bolt on the bottom of the shield. There's one right here. You kind of feel your fingers to fill around for it. And there's another one back over here. So uh, just use your wrench and your socket to get those two bolts out. And this shield will literally pull out of the way. Down here, this is your resistor right here. And this is your blower motor. So what we're going to do to get this blower motor out is right up in there, there is a 732nd screw right here. Sorry for the video. And there is one on this back side. So what we're going to do is get those two bolts out and this little piece will slide down and come off. So let's get those out. Okay, now that I got those out, see this piece kind of slides down and out of the way. Um, back up in here, there's a tab on the side. See that tab? We're going to pull that tab down and we're going to spin this thing clockwise. And it'll drop out. And there is my blower motor. Uh, what was happening to this blower motor? I turned it on the low speeds. It wouldn't work. As soon as I turned the blower motor upside down, it'd start working. So I know it wasn't the resistor. Now a resistor usually it won't work on some of the speeds or only on a couple speeds. So what we're gonna do is unplug this connector right here and then we'll plug in our new our new blower motor. Okay, got my new blower motor plugged back in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it back in here. Uh, see how it goes right there? You're gonna find this sweet spot right here. That's where it goes in. And see it went in. And we're gonna turn it back till it locks counterclockwise. All right, there. It locked in. Next, we're gonna put our little shield back on. We're gonna slide it up in there. Put these two bolts in, and that's it. That is how to change your blower motor on a 2012 Chevy Silverado. Um, it's really not that hard, very easy. I hope you like this video. Till next time.